be guided by that wisdom of creation rather than by that endless bombarding of information. Do you ever wish that somebody would just tell you how to know what to do in your life when you're surrounded by so much conflicting information saying yes definitely or no definitely not this and this thinking well trapped in a confusion of thinking <laughs> the heroine with 7.9 billion faces no holding back it's you there is a classic journey of adventure. It is from seed to oak, from egg to bird. The adventure of human beings, of life, of evolution. the call, the impulse to something new, better, greater, different to the ordinary world in which we live. And it talks of the challenges that we face, the guidance and the tools that we will find, and eventually returning to where we begun. I know you can feel inside this impulse, this world that your heart knows is possible. Once upon a time, our heroine was born into the most beautiful and bountiful world. Everything that was possibly needed was there. Fresh air to breathe, clean water to drink, plants of every dimension and colour more kinds of food than could be imagined. An incredible diversity of beings. Four legs, two legs, fur, feathers, scales, skin. A wonderful place united by a wisdom that grew all things. As our heroine grew, it became apparent that things were not quite right. There was fighting and grabbing and some had so, so, so much and others had so, so, so little. We consumed more and more and more searching for satisfaction, ballooning, polluting, forgetting that we already had all that we need. The heart of our heroine grew heavy on the brink of despair knowing that a more beautiful way was possible and trying to do their best, recycling, charity shops, planting trees, protesting at the madness we lived. But overwhelmed, confused and bombarded by more and more and more information that drowned out the wisdom that united all things. The first step on this journey really is relaxing because when you relax you create space from all the information you receive all the shoulds and shouldn'ts from the outside world all the shoulds and shouldn'ts from your inner world a space to allow something else to come through we are squashed and squeezed so hard on all sides in dismay at the pandemic, disbelief at world leaders, distrust in new laws, despair about the world situation, squeezed and squashed so hard. There are challenges to relaxing. And one of these is this feeling of obligation to worry. Many people seem to think that if you are not worrying about whatever the issue is, that you are not being responsible, that you are not thinking 
about it. I disagree with this completely. So I often see in the newspaper a headline like, how much should we worry about bloody blah? Like worrying is going to help at all. There is a word for all of this and it's bombarded. <laughs> Poor sweet us. We all know about the algorithm, right? When you like this video, you sponsor a well and a pump for clean water for one day for someone in Malawi. No wonder it's difficult to relax, but when we do relax, when we do let go of the shoulds and the shouldn'ts, when we do free ourselves of that plastic pollution we are suffocating under in our minds, then we allow space for something else to come forth. Something new shoots out from the center. The wisdom rising from within, guiding you on. <laughs> you know, this wisdom that grows the forest, that grows your bones, that flows in the streams, that flows in your blood, that sings in the bird song, and that sings in your heart, that has created everything. And relaxing can be really fun. You can do it properly with a yoga mat. Oh, nothing like lying down. Shavasana, if you do yoga, you know the corpse pose comes at the end of the session. Letting go, being dead to your own will and allowing another will to come forth. You can relax right now, right now. Check your jaw, oh, commonplace attention. Just relax your jaw now. Oh, your shoulders, your belly. Do you feel that? Your tongue. But one of my favorite things to do is sort of a combination of the proper yoga relaxing, plus the doing it right now. It's when I go to bed at night, I get in my comfy position, elbows and my knees all poking out, and then I just move through my body again. Feet relax, legs relax, belly relax, back relax. All the way through my body, I go back to the beginning again, and it is incredible how tense I have become <laughs> in that time. Relaxing can be challenging. I have created uh, a recording to help you. It's recorded in the forest by the stream. You're free to download it if you like. You don't have to leave your email address. Just look below and you'll see it. This is really the first step in being able to be guided by that wisdom of creation rather than by that endless bombarding of information. Relaxing. More steps will follow in the following episodes of the heroine with 7.9 billion faces. You. The Vortex of Giving. Can you imagine having to spend every single day walking to collect the water that you and your family need? Do you know how it feels to carry five litres of water? They reckon each person uses 15 litres per day, so here's 10. 
that weight plus another that'd be enough for me not my children not my husband 14 million women 3 million children do this every single day only to arrive at a polluted river or pond maybe containing cholera the germs for diarrhea and then carry that heavy weight back to their families often having to do this several times a day but with your help we can do this differently we all know about the algorithm right when you like this video you sponsor a well and a pump for clean water for one day for someone in Malawi when you like and comment you will help to sponsor someone for an entire week to have life-giving clean water and when you like and comment and share this video you will help someone in Malawi experience clean life-giving water for an entire month thank you thank you thank you